Hi, I'm Trevor. Hi, I'm Brent. We are. Neon Cheetahs. <laughs> All right, so this th I want to actually talk to you now about what happened to me today. Oh, okay. Why I was late today. Because I feel like this is a story that all people must suffer from. All right, all right. Which one am I? Oh, I don't think my controller's on. Uh, it Dang should it. be. Just press a button. Power. There we go. All right. So. Don't uh, press the power button, though. <sighs> that's what I hit. Here. There. What? Here, give me that controller, Trevor. You're missing. I oh, did okay. it. It's on I'm now. good. I'm smart. <laughs> I figured it out. All right. Cool, cool. Sorry about that. So what happened to me today was I went to the DMVs. Or I went to, okay, I went to go get my, uh, what's it called? My, um, my passport today. I want to get a passport card because I want to go to Canada with my friend Dave and Steven. And, uh, but I had to get it soon so that we can go. I'm going to be Zero Suit Samus and I'm going to be Orange. It's not mm -hmm. me sexualizing her. I just love the color Orange. I would prefer her to have a full, uh, rather, uh, lovely, modest Orange dress on, but... It's hard to kick butt in in a dress, so you know. You you want me to pick or whatever? Can we just not do Final Destination? Can I just please not Final Destination? That's all I ask. I, should I just pick random? Sure, that's fine. I'm just sick of Final Destination. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just I, I put it on Omega mode. I don't know what that means. It means that they're all like Final Destination. Oh God, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> all right, whatever. I have not played this in a while, so one second, let me get the buttons down. Boop, 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 boop. I got the... Okay, how do I make... Ah, there we go. B does the thing. A is your other thing. That's a jumpy jump. And then that's grabs. Okay, cool. All right, so I went to... Uh, oh. I went to uh, the DMV. I mean, I went to the post office to get my passport card. And um, they were like, oh, uh, our camera's down, so you're going to have to go to CVS to go do the camera thing. And, um, to get your picture taken. So I went to CVS, got my stupid picture taken, went back to the post office. They're like, oh, your license expires tomorrow. Um, that's going to be a problem. you got to go get your license renewed. Whew, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, and by the way, I went there at 11 o'clock, thinking nobody would be there at the post office. No, there was peeps. There's peeps there. Definitely peeps at the post office at 11 o'clock. Why? I don't know. But anyways, um... Oh, I thought I was going to stick you with the gluey, gluey jump. Like this. Boop. Yeah. So, anyways. They, uh, I got them. <clears throat> Darn it. Ah! Okay. Uh, so... Where was I going with this? Oh. Okay. So, anyways. I go to the DMV. Find out it's like 75 bucks to get your license renewed. Oh, that's a lot. And that they couldn't do my card thing? Oh, yeah, and they rejected my first attempt because of parking tickets. Uh, not parking tickets. Fines that I paid, by the way, uh, for, for a toll booth in New Hampshire. Because what happens in New Hampshire with driving totally has everything to do with Massachusetts. Oh, sorry. Ugh. <laughs> Just cut out the Massachusetts part. Um, anyways. I'll have to cut out the whole thing. <laughs> Whatever, it's just leave it, it's fine. Anyways. <laughs> just, we just, uh, there we go. Um, so anyways, I go to the DMV, get the thing t taken care of, cost 75 bucks, then a, a, more money on top of that. And they wouldn't take my card for some stupid reason, so I had to do it in cash. So then I had to leave, go back to the place, the post office, and then they're all like, hey, you, um, how do I smash? Ugh. Oh, there we go. Too late. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I couldn't remember the smash button, and I just remembered it last second. So then, uh, they're like, oh, yeah, so do you have a check? They wouldn't accept cash or my card. That's so weird. They're like, uh, I'm like, no. They're like, we're going to have to do a money for order for you. It's going to cost 15 bucks on top of it. I was like, oh, my gosh, fine. Just take my money and make it happen. It was like I got, I went to the post office originally at 11 o'clock, finally got it all taken care of at um by... 245 because I had to deal with the DMV and driving places going back and forth and like the guy was really nice at the post office he wasn't a jerk about it it's just bureau bureaucratic nonsense but man if I like if they if I, if I get like some kind of phone call tell, from the government or whatever saying like they can't process my stupid uh my 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 Canada card or whatever it's called um I'm I don't know 
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flip. I'm just gonna flip. You're not gonna see me anymore. You're gonna rage quit life. You're gonna see me on the news. All right. Uh, let's do Whoa. it. Whoa. <laughs> you can see me on the news. Uh, you know who I haven't played yet is is uh, Ryu. Oh. I haven't played as Ryu yet since I did the uh, added him to the whole shebang. Ryu's the uh, hardest <sighs> character to use. Sorry for going off on a rant there. I just had to vent that. How frustrating today was. Like up until I was happy once when I got here. I was like, Yay, we're gonna play big games. Big <laughs> games. So you don't like Omega Stages? I, I'm okay with them. I'm just, I just want to do a, a, a fun stage with oh. stuff. Oh, you're you're one of those people. Yeah, I am. I bet yeah. you like playing with items on too, don't you? As long as the hammer isn't involved, that's the cheap thing. The hammer is just that's that's that's. What, I mean, I'll play with the hammer, but Fox only, no items. Final destination. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Oh, what's what's that? You don't want to play on that. One. Right. That's terrible. Can we? Like I like you... this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I remember. There's like a lot of stuff. Oh, Maya's ex-girlfriend. What? Yeah, Paula. Oh yeah. Okay, so B is Hadouken. Okay, so it's not normal Street Fighter buttons. Uh, you can play it like normal oh, Street Fighter. Okay. Sure, Wouldn't recommend it though. Or Hadouken. Uh, okay. Remember when I said uh, he's the hardest to play as? Who? Uh, Ryu. Yeah. That doesn't count if you're really good at Street Fighter. Oh no, I'm not good at Street Fighter. Uh, I'm. I just got lucky. <laughs> What's my down B? Um, oh, I think that's a counter. Yeah. People are like, oh, there's too many counters, and I'm like, so? I'm okay with counters. That's why I like Palatina. She, like, she's got, I like counters. Makes me, makes me feel clever. Clever girl. I actually really hate that quote. Why? I don't know, because it's just... It's, it's not like a very, like... It's not the best line of that movie or anything, but people just like that quote for some mysterious well, reason. Because you, can, you have opportunities to say it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying somebody does something. In oh, God. What oh, is that? Oh, no. <laughs> you would know if you played the game, Trevor. Shut up. <laughs> oh. Nope. Okay. Uh, you, you know, that reminds me. Um, uh, Max was over the other day, and yeah. um, we were talking about just, like, various things. And I mentioned uh, how much I liked um, Xenogears, and he was talking about how he never played it. Yeah. And I was like, you have to play it. And we, we were having this weird discussion about which has the better story, um, Knights of the Old Republic or Xenogears. And it was a dumb argument because... Oh. Because he didn't play... Uh, you got because by the monster. Because he's never played Xenogears, and I've never played Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> So you basically became the internet. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh, I thought I... PK fire. More like PK cheap. Burn. Yeah, so he he pretty much agreed to play Xenogears, and at some point I'll play Knights of the Old Republic. I agree to nothing! <laughs> so, yeah. Basically, we it was just a dumb argument. <laughs> I, for a second, I thought you killed yourself. What, um... Okay, so he likes Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah. Uh, what's your what is your favorite RPG? My favorite RPG, uh, Mother Three. Okay. Which is like Earthbound Three. Mhm. Mm it's actually the best game ever created. <laughs> objectively. <laughs> like e even objectively, like it has fantastic game design, like everything. Okay. Like everything about it is like so meticulously, like designed, and it's just it's really good. I have zero complaints about it. Some people complain that there's like a limited inventory, but I don't like that's never been a problem like ever for me personally. We're going limits. There are no limits. Because like, all right, I use items. Oh, so gosh. the f <laughs> you kill yourself. <laughs> so the fact that there's a limited uh, inventory. Yeah. No problem. Just use items like they, they don't stock you up on items you need. They're just, like, optional spaces, and people, like... The problem is, like, everyone wants to, like, hoard everything they get in that game. Oh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, here's the thing. 
I actually like when an RPG puts a limit on your items, so you're not being a hoarder towards the very end of the game. You're actually using the stuff in the game. Yeah. That's one of my actual complaints about Chrono Trigger, is the entire time I am stockpiling super awesome healing items, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm waiting for the boss at the end of the game for these. And I got, by the end, I've got like four billion elixirs. It's like, no big deal. <laughs> yeah. I like it when games actually... Yeah, no, that's a, a, the, that, I actually like that as part of the design because it makes me feel like I'm gonna actually use my stuff instead of just saving it for the end to fight the boss, final boss. <laughs> yeah, because like, I don't know. I just don't think of it as a problem. That's everybody's only complaint about the game, and I just can't get down with that complaint. Get down with the sickness. I I actually like okay. I recently re-listened to that song, and it's not like what I remembered. I remember. <laughs> I don't really I, like it, but... <laughs> yeah, like, I, I remember it being, like, really good, and then I re-listened to it, I'm like, this song's alright. <laughs> it's so weird. That, that's, like, one of the only times anything like that has ever uh, happened to me. Because normally I remember everything, like... I don't want to say I'm perfect, but I usually remember things like that, like, perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like, like I'll play a game as a kid, and then I'll go back and play it as an adult, and it'll be, like, exactly how I remember it. Mm-hmm. That... But that that one song is like the only exception where I was like, oh yeah, this song is not it's not what I remember. Yeah, I don't like it. I I I, I could not get into Disturbed. I felt like they took themselves a little too seriously or something. I don't know. Like I like System of a Down because they know what they are. They're self aware that they are System of a Down. Yeah. Yeah. I have a hard time with like a lot of new metal bands, but like, but like. I don't know. System of a Down, I feel like they get it. Like they're like Dragon Force. They know what they are. There's <laughs> there's no they're, they're not deluding themselves in any way. I am not very good at Smash Brothers. Yeah, that shield thing you keep putting up, that's for like projectiles. Marth doesn't have projectiles. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright. I'm gonna get you Oh, counter. <laughs> counter, huh? Oh, <laughs> you like like okay like one frame Ooh. after I do counter, you're just like oh yeah. <laughs> now I get ya. Almost gotcha. Oh, I think that's the first time you killed me. Yeah, Palatina for the win. Yeah. <laughs> you you and your uh, green haired waifu. <laughs> I love green hair. I would. Oh, I tried to do I, a counter. It did not work. <laughs> I also really like green hair, but it's so rare to find. <laughs> In real life, yeah. I don't think it's a genetic thing, but, uh... <laughs> I wish it was. I mean, like, just in general. Yeah. Yeah, the, the only other example I can think of is, um... The girl from Code Geass. I forget where, what her name even is. Real quick, real quick. Let's do what uh, we think our worst characters are. Worst character? Yeah. Um, ooh. I'm terrible as Roy. Okay, I'm terrible as Lucas. Like, like you'll think... Like, okay, I always play as Marth, so you're like, oh, Roy's, like, the same character. No. Okay. I'm bad as Roy. I as bad as Lucas, so we'll see where All this right. goes. Th this will be our last match of the recording, because we're at, like, I think 12 minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, do you want to pick a stage, or should yeah. I? Let's go someplace rat. Oh, let's go here. Boxing ring. Ooh. Boxing. In this corner, we have Brent as Roy. And in the other corner, we have Trevor as Lucas. Fight. Ah, like all the hitboxes are like so off. <laughs> like, like he handles similarly, but it's just I can't hit anything with this. <laughs> what is the, that? What did I just pull out? What is that? Taffy? No, it's a rope snake. I don't know oh, much man. about Lucas. Oh, check that out! Didn't know that was gonna happen. Mud Three is the best game ever. The rope snake is. A very uh, endearing character. <laughs> that you know, what's really funny, the rope snake thing thing. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a legit story. When I was like seven, I came up with a video game about a about a, a character with a rope snake. That's so weird. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's biz that's bizonkers. That that's the universe <laughs> trying to tell you that you have to play Mother. Oh, yeah, that was like. It was just like a generic fantasy thing, but that was my character's like special. Th I had to give him some kind of weird thing, and I was like, "He's gonna be like Simon Belmont, but it's gonna be a snake." <laughs> like that was my logic. Oh, fire to the face! Oh yeah. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, I tried to baseball bat you. I was already. I was like, Haha, "Sucker." Nope. <laughs> oh, actually, now I'm kind of getting a little used to Roy. I adapt quickly, so 
if there's a character I'm bad at, if I just play from as a little while, it's not much of a problem. I'm that way with board games. Like, I'll be really bad the first time I play a board game, and then the second time I play, I'm, like, a little bit better, and then by the third time, it's like, alright, I've got this... You, like, it's like, oh, very different, like, story. Not saying, like, I'm the best, but just, like, my skill level jumps up dramatically on that, like... <laughs> yeah, I'm... I'm the same way. I'm, I'm just, like, a, I guess, a fast learner. Ah... So, uh, so. Which which makes my Whoa. sister very upset, <laughs> cause like, I'll she'll be having trouble with the game and I'll be like, oh let me see, let let me try this game that I've never played before, and then in like five minutes I'm better than her and she's the one who's been playing the game. I cannot do Lucas. This is <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, you got me. Yeah. Yeah, that that's proof I'm not good as Roy. You got me so easily. <gasps> oh, I'm still in. Uh, oh, I'm out. Gotcha. <laughs> I was like, all right. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this uh, this little r recording session. All right. I've been Roy, and I've been a little blonde kid with an overly simplified face. <laughs> it's modern art. Stay in drugs. Don't do school, kids. <laughs> yes.